Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and you are watching The Electric Singularity. Great to have you here. Tesla, as many of you know, has different battery suppliers. One of those is Panasonic. Tesla has been working with Panasonic now for over a decade to produce Tesla's special source batteries. Recently, we learned that Panasonic is right now, as in now, now, in the process of building a 4680 battery cell supply line. So Panasonic are building, will be building two different types of batteries for Tesla. In addition to that, Tesla are working on their own battery cell manufacturing of the 4680 battery cells at a range of different places. One of those is in California near the Tesla Fremont factory. Another one is in the Texas Gigafactory. And another one is in Gigafactory Berlin. So three different locations. Plus we've got Panasonic building two different supply lines. So we've got kind of five different sources of batteries here. Plus Tesla also gets their cheaper lithium iron phosphate batteries, sixth source from CATL, Chinese battery maker. So we have Tesla's obviously trying to supply to shore up as much possible battery supply as they can get. And why would they be doing this? Because they understand the demand they have for their cars and they have a pretty good awareness, much better awareness than you and I have, obviously, or that any pretend media person has about how many cars they're actually going to sell next year, this year, next year. Obviously, they know the demand. They see the real numbers. We only know the sales figures. However, guys, remember, we know that there are more than 1 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck. And it's amazing to me nobody's talking about this. There is an actual Cybertruck order tracker. People actually have to enter their order number in there, right? And their personal details, their order number, into the tracker. And we have over 1 million orders, right? So, sure, people are going to say some of those orders are only 100, well, all of them are only $150 or 100 US dollars down payment. However, you wouldn't put the money down unless you genuinely wanted to buy one, right? And considering the price they'll be, nobody is in that ballpark. I'm pretty sure if Tesla follows through with a price even in that range, that at least 80% of those pre-orders are going to come through. So that means Tesla have at least 800,000 Cybertrucks ready to go. They need a metric shit ton of batteries to supply all of those Cybertrucks, plus all the semis they've already sold, plus all the Model Ys they need to build, plus all the Model 3, plus the list goes on and on. I mean, plus the new Model 2 they're going to make. They need a huge amount of batteries. And just think, they already make, they already have more of the world's battery supply than any other company. And it looks to me as though they're going to at least triple that in the next 12 months. What does that tell you about market demand for Tesla? Why have I bought the stock? There you go. Well, Tesla is now in talks with another Chinese battery maker, Eve Energy Co. To add to the firm, to add up their battery supply capacity in Shanghai. So this is going to give Tesla more batteries in at the factory at Tesla Shanghai. Now, this, saw, this information comes from four people with information about this matter. EVE makes lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries, which are cheaper to produce because they use iron instead of more expensive nickel and cobalt. Now, recent advances in lithium iron phosphate batteries, as we can see from the BYD Blade battery, show they are extremely safe, very unlikely to combust and set fire. They are also extremely durable. So that means that you can charge these batteries a huge number of times before you get any battery degradation. In fact, you can charge them approximately 1.2 million times before you even reach 80% battery, sorry, one for 1 1.2 million kilometers of driving before you even reach 80% battery degradation. So that is, in my opinion, in fact, it is an incredible number. So it makes sense that Tesla would want more of these batteries, these lower cost batteries, for all the lower cost vehicles that people want. Now, EVE would become the second supplier of LFP batteries to Tesla after China's contemporary Amperex Technology Company, or CATL. It's quite a handful to say that name. 
The talks are advanced and the Palo Alto, California-based company is seeking to finalize the partnership in the third quarter. Shenzhen listed Eve is running some final stage tests of its products for Tesla, said one person. Shares of the Chinese battery firm have jumped more than 10% in afternoon trade on Friday following the Reuters report about the talks. All sources have declined to be identified as the discussions are private. Tesla and Eve did not reply to Reuters for comment. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said this year the company was shifting standard range cars to an iron cathode due to concerns about the supply of nickel for scaling up battery production. I think that's um, probably not really the real reason. I think the real reason is Tesla just doesn't have enough batteries. Neither does anyone else. Neither does anyone else. Let that sink in for a minute. Neither does anyone else. In fact, no one has anywhere near the number of batteries Tesla has. How on earth are these Tesla killers going to suddenly make five times more batteries than they have now within two years. They're not. It's not going to happen. Sure, maybe in five years down the, down the track, they'll have built up enough battery supply to electrify their fleets, but they cannot do this within three years. It's just impossible. They don't have the battery supply. So Tesla is in a huge position here to succeed because they can deliver the cars where other automakers cannot. But listen, guys, there's a huge number of these crazy, amazing cars coming out, right? From all these manufacturers, Audi, Porsche, they're making some awesome cars. However, no one is talking about the most obvious issue here, right? The most obvious issue is that they simply cannot provide the cars. Most dealers in the United States, for example, most dealers in Europe, people come into the dealer and they want to order a car. The dealer doesn't have it. It's that simple. This is so common. Nine out of 10 times. I don't know why no one's talking about this. It's ridiculous. Nine out of 10 times, dealers can't supply the electric vehicle or the person who makes the order goes on a six-month wait list, which lasts forever, up to 12 months. I know Tesla, yes, you can go on wait list with Tesla too, but nothing like that scenario. So all the Tesla killers, well, some, there's a, don't get me wrong, there's some awesome cars, Hyundai Ioniq 5, look at my review on that. That is a sweet car, but there's not going to be, Hyundai has huge problems with supplying enough of these cars. Just look at the situation in the United States, for example. Anyway, back to the story. The talks come as Tesla faces growing competition from Chinese rivals such as Neo and Li Auto, as well as mounting cost pressure, apparently. I don't think that's true, but anyway. Tesla raised the starting price of a standard range Model 3 in China by 155 US dollars on Saturday to 250,900 yen, citing cost fluctuations. Data showed this week that China's factory gate prices rose at their fastest in three and a half years in April as the world's second largest economy gathers momentum. And I think you can see right now that the global economy is gathering momentum and that is going to lead to more more vehicle sales this year, a lot more than we had last year. Tesla is currently facing mounting regulatory pressure in China after consumer disputes over product safety and scrutiny over how it handles data. Now, obviously, that was mostly manufactured by the Chinese state-owned media, unfortunately, sad to see, and by a lunatic woman who wanted to get out of taking personal responsibility for causing a crash. However, I believe that will blow over and won't drastically affect sales in China. The company is using batteries from China's Contemporary Amperex Technology Co., CATL, and South Korea's LG Chem for its China-made Model 3 and Model Y cars. Now, guys, I'm sorry, I forgot the batteries that they're getting from South Korea's LG Chem. So that's a seventh supplier. That's seven different avenues of battery, or not a seventh supplier, but seven different avenues of battery production. That is huge. Tesla is getting ready for the demand they have, that they know they have and will have over the next two to three years. CATL TL has been the sole supplier of the lithium phosphate batteries for China-made Model 3 cars with standard driving ranges since late last year. Three of the sources said that Tesla has been working closely with EVE to get its batteries to meet its requirements as it aims to bring in the supplier as what one of the sources called a check and balance against CATL, CATL. One of the sources said Tesla could start using EVE's LFP batteries in the China-made Model 3 and Model Y vehicles within the next six months, and EVE had ramped up production in order to be prepared for the possible partnership. 
EVE, which supplies batteries to Chinese EV, EV maker Xpeng, said in March it also has battery supply partnerships with BMW and Daimler AG. Now, I find these developments extremely interesting because clearly Tesla is playing some form of chess here that we don't fully understand. But I suspect that Tesla is using all these different battery suppliers to kind of play off against each other to provide lower cost batteries and to give them insurance in case that that battery supplier changes something. With Chinese suppliers, they make great products, but in my experience in working personally in China and Taiwan, anything can happen. So on that note, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Guys, it's been great making this video and all the videos I've made over the last five weeks. I think we're now approaching 120 videos. If you have a request for a video, stick it in the comment section and I'll try to do one for you. Thank you. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.